everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are having some pita pizzas. So I've got the bits and bobs here. I'm just going to let the boys <clears throat> make their own and then pop them in the air fryer. Um, so I've got some sweet corn, some mushrooms, some pepperoni, cheese, puree, pitas and then I might have some barbecue on mine as well. And then we will probably have them with some um crinkly chips maybe and i've got some little popcorn chicken things as well so we might just have a few little bits and bobs on the side um yeah i mean it's wednesday so it feels a bit naughty but still like pitas aren't too bad when you make them um into pizza it's not as bad as a frozen pizza so yeah i'll let the boys assemble theirs and then i'll come back and show you it when i'm plating up tonight for dinner we are having one of our hello fresh recipes and it's butter chicken baked naan so to make the curry you just need some diced chicken breast some garlic and then you've got some curry powder tomato puree and chicken stock and then to give it a bit of a creamy taste you've got some creme fraiche as well and then you serve that on top of some naan breads and sort of bake it in the oven and then you just have a salad on the side. So we've got some rocket, some tomato and some spring onion for a little salad. So I'll come back and show you it when I'm dishing up. Um, the boys have been swimming, so they've already had pasta and sauce. So um, we're gonna enjoy ours now. This day was my husband's birthday, so I cooked him an Ulster fry for brunch. So we just had some fried egg, sausages, bacon, mushrooms, beans, and some soda bread and potato cakes to go with it too. This night for dinner we had fillet steak with chips and beans and my husband had a fried egg on his as well. It was a bit of a treat kind of day because it was my husband's birthday so we did have a very greedy brunch and dinner as well but it was super tasty.
everyone, tonight for dinner we are having one of our Hello Fresh meals. So it's this spice lamb and rice. So um, you just kind of fry up the lamb mince with the various seasonings. So I've got some tomato puree, some chicken stock, some harissa paste and some spice mix. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. Um, you fry that up with the lamb and I think you put the rice in with the lamb and then add water to the stock so it like cooks a bit like a kind of risotto-y kind of thing but with the meat in and then you make up like a yogurt minty kind of tzatziki-ish kind of um, sauce to go with it um, so yeah it sounds really tasty and super easy so I'm just going to fry all of that up and kind of wait for it to simmer and the rice to cook and I'll come back and show you when I'm dishing up. tonight for dinner we are having the duck tacos so we've been waiting for this one it's really really tasty um so basically you get the duck which is like a comfy duck leg so you just pop that in the oven with some of the chinese five spice on it um and just obviously it's already cooked but it kind of heats it through um and then you shred that and then you make up, you've got the sauce, which is like hoisin sauce and rice vinegar with some plums to make like a nice plum sauce. Um, and then you do some wedges and then you serve that with like the cucumber and radishes in, it's taco, they call it tacos, but it's these like mini wraps, um, which you just heat through in the oven. Um, so yeah, it's really easy. Like I say, we've had this one before about, or oh, it must be over a year ago, maybe even two years um but it's really really tasty so yeah we're gonna have that one so i'm just gonna pop the duck in the oven it does say to put the wedges in the oven but i'm actually gonna do mine in the air fryer because they're a lot quicker um yeah and then obviously i've prepped everything i just need to slice my plums and make the sauce um so i'll come back and show you when it's all dished up This last night for dinner, we just had a really simple one of sausage, mash and veg. I did the sausages in the air fryer and the rest on the hob, so it was a really quick and easy, yummy dinner. Thank you so much for watching this Meals of the Week video. I hope you've enjoyed it and found it useful for some meal ideas for your family. If you have, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time. Bye!